Vadum is from the Capital Research Center in Washington, and he thinks it's a dumb idea. So, uh, Matthew, welcome to Happy Hour. And why uh, a dumb idea? Uh, shouldn't we have more mass transit in this country? Well, traditionally, Americans don't like mass transit. They don't like public transit. They, whenever uh, a mass transit system is built, it turns into a massive white elephant because Americans don't like to use it. Look at Amtrak. Amtrak is very expensive, uh, but people don't like it. They don't use it. It always is losing money. It, 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 it regularly asks Congress for $1 billion a year to make up for its operating shortfalls. But Matthew, so Americans actually don't like mass transit. Well, I mean, I don't think that Americans don't like mass transit, but, I mean, we are 25 times the size of Japan, where Michael Moore is using as an example. And also, being a New Yorker, I think all of us here, mass transit's not free. MTA is almost bankrupt here in the city of New York. I love mass transit, I love it, I love it, and it's cheap. It's great, but, you know, I think overall, I think it's not, it's, it's, it still costs money. It's, you know what I'm well, saying, Well, yeah, Matthew? That's, what, that's what he wants. He wants, he wants, like you said, Japan has, uh, the U.S. has 25 times the land mass of Japan. So maybe bullet trains make sense there, but they don't make sense here. America is half the size of Russia. It would be crazy to have a massive government-funded bullet train uh, infrastructure in here in the U.S. Well, well, see, that's the issue, well, Matthew. Touch on this for a second. That's We're not what he wants, though. He wants no, it across no. the whole country. Well, well, here's the issue, and I agree with you that, that it's, it's not a great idea because there, frankly, are a lot of people in rural America that will be paying so that people in cities can commute faster, and I think that is the issue that he, he fails to touch on. Yeah, that's right. He, he doesn't want General Motors to succeed as a car company. And that's what he said in a blog post on his website yesterday. He wants it to succeed as an alternative energy company, building bullet train infrastructure, light rail transit, windmills and solar panels, things that produce only a tiny fraction, maybe one one hundredth of the total U.S. energy supply. But Matthew, don't we need to find a balance between the extreme that Michael Moore wants to be ultra green like that and us freaking not having to rely on Mideast oil and them taking advantage of us and being independent in that way, self-sufficient? Well, I, I don't buy the argument that we're going to run out of oil anytime soon, but... Uh, uh, if, if people, if consumers want to buy green energy products, if they want to live green, that's up to them to do. It's not up to the government to force General Motors to uh, turn out green products and, and hybrid cars that nobody wants to buy. As you said earlier in the segment, GM is having trouble selling its hybrid cars uh, because they're so expensive. All right, Matthew Vadim, amen to that. I totally agree with that. Could all go of down. us are on board. Computers have gone down in cost. Matthew Vadim uh, from the Capital Research Center, thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right, on tap, we have your trades to wake up to. Again, I didn't bring a trade. Tomorrow. Boosting consumer confidence. It's one of the biggest problems affecting every industry. So how are these CEOs coping and keeping their companies on top? We ask them. Don't even think of skipping it. Money for breakfast. Why do new investors love Scott Trade? I'm not a major player in the market, but they treat me like one. See for yourself at scotttrade.com. Copy that.